today we're going to be diagnosing the fans on the VW Jetta. So one of the reasons I noticed I had a problem was sitting in traffic, the temperature would rise. And I turned the heat on, and then once we started driving again, the temperature came back to normal. It sits around 190. And then it happened a second time sitting in traffic, so I started to think there was a problem. So I've already tested a couple things, and I think I'm on the right track here. But I'll walk you through all the steps I've went through so far, and we'll get the test light out and the gator clips and see what we can figure out. If you turn your key on and turn your AC on, that your fan should come on. But my fans don't spin. And you can do that test with the car running. It doesn't make a difference. So we know my fans are not coming on when you turn the AC on. So there's symptom number two. So I got a test light out and checking the fuse here. That one's good. So that's going to be your fan fuse. And there's a thermo switch down here in the radiator that you can unplug and test that. Let me see if we can do it here. A lot of this stuff is going to be easier from underneath. That's why I have the car on blocks. But it's this three wire plug here. So that's working. And if you leave the test light here and then pull the fuse that you just tested, the test light should go off. And then you know your fuse is working in that circuit. So we ruled out a couple things right there. And if you have the thermo switch and you jump from positive to the other two wires, your fan should turn on high speed and low speed. We did that yesterday and we only got high speed. So from underneath the car, here's the thermo switch we just had unplugged. Here are your two fan connectors. And that box there would be your fan control module. So there are two things we can do now. We're going to test to see if we're getting power to the fans down here. And then we're going to test the fan motors directly to the battery. So right now I have the fan wire unplugged, one of them. And I have the key on, and I have the air conditioning on. And if you plug it into the middle port here, the test light comes on. So we're getting power to the middle port right now with the key on. So the next thing we can do is test the motor. It's just a lot easier to do it this way because then you don't have to worry about touching them together under the car and it's gonna spark a little bit when we touch them so it's just easier to be up here and not have the sparks in your face. So we'll connect our negative and now when we connect our positive fan should turn on low speed. Nothing. Now we'll get under the car, connect it over to high speed, and see what happens. So now we've switched from the middle pin to the top pin with our positive wire. Now the fan should kick on in high speed. So that works. I'm going to skip most of taking this stuff off. If you've never taken your bumper off before, I made a video, it should be in the Jetta playlist, a more detailed video on how to do all this, but it's pretty quick and easy. You can do all this with a pretty basic tool set. This is what I'm using right here. And the biggest socket, what do we have here? 10 millimeter, 13. That's going to be the one to take your bumper off. Don't pay attention to that. That's nothing. It's definitely not my Jetta glued back together. Let's see how much room we can gain by pulling the radiator and stuff forward. See, so now you can get into that bolt a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier, but... So I don't think I can recommend this, but the only bolt I have holding it now is this one here. We removed both bolts on this side. And that really gives you all the room you need to get in there. So there's just one more bolt here, and then we can drop it down. Unclip this radiator hose, and that should be it. The thing I was going off at the store is the plug. So that has three male ends. This one has three male ends. That one has three female ends. So you can't get them confused. You'll have to take this little black piece off. 
right here to get your wires out. Then you just have to take these three bolts out, take your fan off, put your new fan back on. So that one's lined up, that one's not. This one almost kind of, you could not, no, nope, just not the right one. Now that I have the fans sitting next to each other, you can see the big problem here is look how far this motor sticks up compared to this motor. So the bolts on this motor, right at the top, even with the motor. Bolts on this motor, way down here. Not gonna work. So the new fan looks like the one we need. It has the short motor, just like that one. All right, so you just have to stay persistent and you can figure this stuff out. So what it's hitting is this little black dot right here and maybe a couple other ones like it right when it gets to there. So that right there is what I'm feeling with my hand. So we'll pull it back off and just shave those little bumps down and we'll be good. So I have the new fan in, and this is what we couldn't do before, where everyone says you can test your fans by getting in the car, just turning the key on, turning the fan on one, and the AC on, and your fans should be spinning in low speed. And now we have our main fan spinning in low speed, and our small fan spinning in low speed too. Hmm. Before neither one of them would spin in low speed. So maybe having one controls the other? Either way, it seems like they're working now, so we just have to put the front bumper on, put everything back together. Pro tip, I didn't even take the grill off this time, so you don't have to mess with this little clip and stuff. You can just work around it. So that worked out pretty good once we got the right parts. I diagnosed it correctly as being the fan not working on low speed. It's not the thermal switch or the fan control module. So, so if you've seen any of my other repair videos, I usually forget to put something back in, but... That's no big deal. We'll put that phone back in next time we have to take the bumper off or something.